Well, good morning. I know everybody here. I know everybody out there. So, good morning. So, my job today is to share a story for all ages. So, that means you here at the front because you're the special ones right now, and all the rest of our community. So, I wanted to give you a full report on what we did last week. Does anybody know what we did last week as a congregation? Nobody knows. Nobody out there knows. <laughs> well, as you know, we are Unitarian Universalists. And one of the things that we affirm and support is the inherent worth and dignity of all people. I know those are big words. Can anybody tell me what they think that means? You're thinking, tell me, tell me, tell me. That, well, all lives matter. That is absolutely right. That everybody matters. Everybody counts. That's a really good way of putting it. And that's what we believe. And so last week, we were showing our concern for a particular part of the community that we live in, and that's people with skin like mine, and people with darker skin, but it's people of color. And so we have these little wristbands that we've been handing out. Would you like one? It's just for you, it's your size. And so last week, what we did to show our support for the inherent worth and dignity of all people is that we had a Black Lives Matter service that was attended by quite a few of you out there. Were any of you here last week? You were here. Yes, and so we had a service to talk about how some people in our community are not treated fairly and some people in the world are not treated fairly. And so when people aren't treated fairly, what do you think we should do? We should treat them fairly, but do you think we should say something about it too? That's right, that it shouldn't happen. And so last week, what we did in our sermon, in our service, is we spoke up about it. We said, we don't think it's fair. Yep. Uh, my mommy is um, African-American, and she's pretty much like you. Yeah. Well, so that's what we were talking about. We were saying that we don't think it's fair to treat African Americans or people of color any differently than anybody else. And then, you, do you know what we did? Well, after the service, we went down to Independence Hall. Has anybody heard of that? What, do you know what happened at Independence Hall? Why don't you say it? They signed the Declaration of Independence. Gold star for you. And so a bunch of us, about 40 of us, went down there to not only have that message in our community and in our church, but also to the rest of the world. And do you know that wristband that you're wearing? We handed out about 900 of those. So there were a lot of people who supported the same things that we support. But we also had the opportunity to talk to people who didn't quite agree with us. Now, is it okay for people to disagree? That's right, because that's part of being fair to everyone. Everyone has an opinion, and we, have, we should respect it. And so what we did for those people who didn't quite agree with us is we gave them our position. We told them what we thought about it, and we allowed them to say what they thought about it. But in the end, we wanted to make sure that it was a peaceful time. And it was. And it turned out to be a wonderful time because we got to share what we believe with the rest of the world. And some people shared what they believed. And a lot of people helped to support what we were doing as well. So I wanted to tell you about that because it's important to us that you, as the coming generation behind us, that you know exactly what's going on. And that we want to hear your voices as well.
So it's important for us to keep you informed of everything that we're doing. And if you have a question, you can ask any of the adults here what we're doing. You can find me or Debbie or David and ask what we're doing and why we're doing it. Because it's important for us that you know what's going on. Does anybody have any questions right now? Maybe later? <laughs> we can talk later about these matters. But I just wanted to let you know what we did and also to thank everybody in the congregation for their support, both in the service as well as in the public witness. They were both very successful and we appreciate all of your help and your support. So thank you. And thank you guys. All right, so we will sing you off right now. <laughs> 